Uh, just how we mostly, for real, how we mostly just open these up. We start them just with like conversation, you know. Whatever you want to do, bro. Man. Uh, everybody. I don't even got no introduction. My big brother, my advisor, mentor, um, a wealth of knowledge, uh, came to me out of nowhere. Uh, we've always like came by each other, crossed each other paths. But today he's actually came to me, blessed me with his presence. Everybody, uh, Charles Palmer, everybody, yeah. Uh, this is a special, special, special episode of Who's Talk Mobile, where conversations get deep and intellectual. I'm your host, Artemis Caldwell, founder and CEO of Who Is Incorporated. And like I said, special guest with me is always, it's always this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, again, Good to be here. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you for it. Really? Yeah. So, I know we had a lot of deep um, conversations about off random topics. Uh, first off, just to sim- like signify today is such a different day when, I, uh, when we first linked. Uh, we had war today. Boy, uh, All out war. Yeah. Uh, prayers and shout outs, I guess. Prayers starts to all families and uh, really have to deal with it. You know, uh, all around the world. It's um, a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Can I, uh, well, the reason I wanted you to come on is because, or the reason that we even spoke is because of skating. And everybody, everybody knows that, like, I love skating and vice versa. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that you love skating. I hope they do. Yeah. So, the thing is, I want to know, how long you been skating for? I probably first started skating when I was around six years old. My first experience was through a summer playground in University City. Okay. And um, didn't take particular joy in it. Just <laughs> went because everybody else was doing it. And uh, it stayed like that for a while. Okay, real quick, how old are you now? I know, like. I'm 49. Like- so if I start, I started around I was five or six. Okay. Uh, I I got the skate king in 1992 in September. Mm-hmm. Skated my first session on a Friday morning. I think it was uh, maybe the 25th or the 26th, 1992. And uh, I've been hooked ever since. I probably only missed 10 Friday mornings in 29 years where I, I actually just could not go on Friday morning. And, uh, it's, it's been a it's been a hell of a road. It's been a hell of a road. I've learned a lot at this game. I've learned a lot at this game. Have you only skated in St. Louis? Skated all around the country, particularly probably Memphis, Little Rock, Virginia Beach, okay. Atlanta, Georgia. One, uh, I guess for a stretch of time, I had a 1989 Toyota Camry, and uh, I put about seventy thousand miles on it. And, it, it took the crew everywhere around the country. We okay. skated every, all in Ohio, everywhere. Most recommended place? Right now, I would say Little Rock on Sunday night, 9 to 12. Little Rock, Sunday night, 9 to 12. Okay. All right. A little further deep question. Uh, seeing St. Louis, what type? Let me ask this. St. Louis being the type of city that it is and when I say that being the city of uh, violence, a city where they say we're super racist not not progressive uh, all bad things, all bad things how do how do you think the skate culture either like helped evolved or changed with that I'm trying to see the When I first got to the skating rink, there was uh, one particular style, and um, everyone was simply rolling forward, or maybe you, I, the young folks call it backpacking now, so we, I just call it skating back. We just okay. call it skating backwards. Y'all call okay. it backpacking. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
So we were just skating forwards and backwards, and then you had a gentleman uh, by the name of Phyllis. He was just a star at the time. And you had Leo and Al, who just stood out in April. And Shout out. Yeah, you, you had a few people who just, I mean, just who did the extra, but it just wasn't a lot of them. And, um, It started off and it stayed like that for a few years. And then uh, Leo took me to Indianapolis and the times changed. People started like jam skating a little more, wanting to do a little more spinning. It, it, uh, Riri, Lady Riri, the comedian. You got Jerry with the dreads. They started stretching and started leaning. Oh, you got, you got a light bulb, Perry. You'll know who I'm talking about. It'll be in the middle just by the by looking like a rubber band. And uh, then you have uh, Chris, Mr. Ballroom. These people who have affected skating immensely. And uh, as I see people going up asking for advice and stuff, uh, that's merely how the rink goes. Goes from spirit to spirit. And, it, and if you're willing to get in there and see if you want to try something or just meeting the right person to start uh to start doing anything exercise stretching it, it, it's all in with how you make it go the toxicity or the negativity i'm a cut and dry person so i'll say it is or it ain't and it's what you want to deal with for the day and um it's always going to be there it, 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 it the rep Skating ring represents life in, in every facet. It, if you were at work or whatever, it, it is what it is. Because now what you were explaining was, I'm, I'm kind of going like to go back. But you were saying ballroom, backpacking, jam. These are all like different sides of skating, correct? Very. Okay. Very much so. Because I know a lot that I see, or a lot of people see me, is a uh, crazy leg. So where would crazy legging fall into play? Like, is that jam? Crazy legging is St. Louis itself. <laughs> that it's okay. flat out. Okay. If you can't crazy leg, I don't even know how you got here. Who family <laughs> are you? Who are you? Okay. All right. Who All right. You? All right. Okay. Right. So All if you right. can't crazy leg, I mean. Okay. Why don't you go sit down and let somebody else have this little space here, please? Come okay. Then, now, now, I don't want to say what makes you special because I know because I had the pleasure of actually seeing you skate. Relentless hard work at the wheel. If the wheel can go and the skate will go there, I'm gonna go with it. Mm. I don't give a what it do. I'm gonna bring it back, hold it, breathe, and then go back to somewhere or get somewhere where I'm comfortable and then I'll continue to do what I want to do. All I want to do is make it out the moment, try a little something, and that's how you do it. A little bit at a time. Huh. Okay. Because people will come, come to the skating rink and be like, oh, I'm finna try to boop, 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 boop as soon as they see us do our thing. And it's like, nah. It's the difference man. between motivation and excitement and You really need to think about what you're gonna do hey, before real. you get to the skate rink. Most of my session is skated at home as I'm putting my clothes on and when I'm doing my hair and I'm putting my outfit together. Do I have the right colors today? Do, do does it represent how I feel? Am I am I am I ten toes down today or am I finna go bullshit today? Am I gonna am I gonna bring it today? And just uh, at this moment of time and 29 years of being at Skate King. I'm all in at being a star. Mm. Personally, I like to let everybody know, one day here soon, I'll be going out for the world championships of the world. They have these uh, skate shows around, I mean, Brazil, Canada, wherever the championship will be. Okay. I will be going out one day. This is what this is just my personal goal after all the time I've been skating at Skate King. Mm. And this will be your own personal achievement, tank. Just ultimate, my ultimate endeavor for all the skating. I have done everything in skating. I've chased the ladies. I've skated with the fellas. I've been cool. I've been hated on. I've been, oh, that's the bad boyfriend. I've been the everything. Mm. Tell me. But I'm you. still just here. What's the what's the skate culture like? What is skate culture? First word I'm gonna say is uh. It's a simple jealousy. 
but a good one because when you see someone skating, you say, the first thing you say, ooh, I want to be rolling like them. So <laughs> a simple jealousy simple is good. Jealousy. That's okay. a simple jealousy. That, okay. That's one the creator will say, you're supposed to have that because that's called motivation. That's that, that that's inspiration. That's that's life itself. Right. These are things you want to do. Right. Okay. Once you start skating, and then you can't do anything, and then you you go to talking about people. Now you're wrong. Okay. At all, all right. times, skate culture and whatever he trying to ask me right now is all about your effort. Now, if you don't want to stretch, you don't want to hurt nothing, and you don't want to learn how to take care of yourself, then you're probably not gonna have a good time, and you're probably gonna bring down everybody else a good time. That's skate culture. Be positive. Be willing to be learning something. Be very vulnerable and loosen up and breathe. And see, I don't see a lot of vulnerability. It's funny that you say that. I don't see a lot of vulnerability when talking to um, or going to, excuse me, like the younger, the younger um, sessions. You know what I mean? Like when I say that, that's 18 and older or where they are supposed to be majority young people more like middle way like 20s you know i was saying but it's not it's really that set that that's not a set it, the set is 18 to 25 or 18 to 26 yeah that's a whole crowd y'all a whole crowd yeah can't separate y'all yeah y'all try to separate each other and you can't you y'all one group i skate every friday night or i try to and y'all one group the more and more, even when some of the kids say they're not ready or they're not gonna learn, you just you just, you just keep tapping one at a time and they'll pop on them. Okay. Even as my my vast experience just sitting there watching people skating, and I'm sitting there, I can tell everybody how to be a better skater, but that ain't my job to tap on everybody's shoulder and bother everybody. Some people don't wanna be tapped on, but I'll tell you this, even in just in, in a year from now, or even just by the summertime. The whole Friday night session will be rolling just ten times better than they are now. I, I, just I see of it. They, just, 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 it just they rolling together. I see the energy. They want yeah, it. See. They don't even know, know what, know what to you, do. What yeah. But when I'm out there spinning on my heels, yeah. they yeah. getting out the way. They not panicking. They not reaching out for me like yeah. some old people at a session. Yeah. They just flat out going ahead. I see younger folks. Rolling on Friday night, flat out getting it, getting out their way. I'm not even bold enough to skate around them on the rail the way I want to. I need to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that makes them better than me right now. They, mm -hmm. they're, they're more. This, y'all generation, y'all bold. Oh, y'all just need man. to know the small things that yeah, I know. Yes. And I ain't want to be cocky. It's just stuff I know that once I tell you, you be like, oh. And then it'll be, you be like, oh. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Simple things make your whole experience a whole nother thing. Now you come to the rink as you might be defeated at home, but you come through that door, you'll be someone new. You'll be you'll be being rebuilt and your strength are new. Mm. It'll be a safe house when you come to the rink. Not because you're running from your baby mama and all and all this old extra shit. Yeah. You can use it as a safe house. Mm. And See. that's what it's supposed to be used for. We don't have many places to 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 conjure and, and, and get around and talk. Skating rink is one of the few places that you're gonna see black people come and no one is gonna come and bother us. Yeah. It's the one place we can have a meeting and they're not gonna be trying to come in and sneaking from the side to see what we're talking about. We can plan anything at the skate rink. Yeah. Skate culture. Skate life. That's it. I'd like to give a uh, big ups to Chad Howe for such uh, courageousness to go out on a limb doing what he's doing with his life and giving it to the skate rink. Um, if you go skating, you owe a piece back to the skating rink. If you keep coming to the skating rink and you keep asking for songs and you keep saying it ain't no music mm -hmm. and you're not doing anything new, you are wrong. The, you owe the DJ hard work and, and, and good endeavors on the skating rink and good energy, not negativity and keep sitting there pouting and, and, and requesting the same old song. Mm -hmm. It's you you have to change. Stop being scared of being a punk. Change. That's skate culture. Someone's gonna come in your life and change it sooner or later. Mm. Or you gonna or you gonna sit there and not go. Talk specifically about Skate King, because I know Skate King holds a near and dear place in my heart. Like I wouldn't like I know when I go out of town, I know there's still no place like Skate King, the environment that has I, I grew up in Skate King. 
You know, I've probably been skating, I want to say 13 years. There's only one wood floor in the world better than Skate King. It's in Detroit. Okay. It's the biggest fuck. It's two and a half times bigger than Skate King. Really? But even at the end of the day, the atmosphere and the the closeness of the of, there is no everyone around the country loves Skate King. It, 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 it's magical at, at, at its least. It's magical. Yeah. The floor changes every day as the weather changes. We, we roll over humps and we look like stars. We're, we're rolling on rocks. <laughs> Man, it and we, it that, good. That's how magical the place is. We say the music bad, but guess what we do? We, we hurry up and put that gel and we eat in and we get to the dough, baby. I cannot no, we wait. hurry up and get to the dough. Man. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> now, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to skews it out and say, mm -hmm. Skate K, I'm going to give a PS, uh, PS to the ladies. Y'all been jamming. Good job. Good unity. Man. Good. Man. Let it out. Good job. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Right now, Sunday uh, Sunday morning is the best thing you ever going to have in life. Oh, my goodness. With these old people that you got left, oh you better be thankful goodness. for these old people skating with your motherfucking ass because you wouldn't have. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If we wasn't there, you'd be mad. And that's what I'm saying. If, you, if we uh, wasn't there, y'all be mad. You better soak the, it up the, now. The I'm telling you now. That, you that better Friday soak night, it up like now. You, said, you see it? Leo and Al is not going to be there forever to say, come on Man. and do the do. Y'all going to have to pick it the fuck up. But ain't nobody pick wanting it up. to even step out like and show a move or ask, hey, how you do this move? Y'all got to learn how to stretch. You got to gotta get it in. You got to take it in. You say stretching. Stretching is the most important thing and breathing. And yeah. water. Them, if you got to do them three things before you do anything about this escape. Hey, sometimes that'd be the only place where people even get water. Like you said, a peace of mind, too. You know? So that's something. You could take it, it, it. Like I say, once you walk through that door, there's no rush. There's no time limit for you to get on the floor. There's no time limit for you to get started. You, you got mean, plenty of time to do everything. I mean, unless you. Got plenty. Got Man, you got plenty of time. See, if you do all the small things about skating, like I said, before you get there and as you're getting your stuff together and you got yourself needed home and you, you took care of Junior, you got you got to the daycare, you got the dumbass baby daddy to work and do 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 and then you still didn't have a car accident. Once you hit that door, it's your time. Mm. It's your show. Yes. You're not the same person you would when you walk through the door. See, once you put them skates on, that separates people. Spiritually, how does that affect you? According to how you feel. And I'm going to go directly and look at you right now. When I walk through the door, you know I ain't bullshit. Emma. I'm not bullshit, Emma. I ain't coming to play no games, Emma. I'm coming to spin and, and, and do what it do. I'm finna come and lock the door down. Uh, yeah. Regardless of whatever else I want to do, what lady I want to talk to, or how I love my baby mama and all what I say on Facebook, or whatever, that's personality. But when it comes to skating, don't nothing go before skate. Nothing. That's church to me. Hey, I know. If somebody get killed in my I'm ready to go skating. We just got through eating and ain't, and ain't nothing else to do. I want to go skating. After y'all get back from the mall and I go to City Trends. I'm ready to go skating. <laughs> Flat out. I skating. am skating. How you feel about bowling? There's a ball and some wood. <laughs> All right. The reason I say that, I really like people be like, oh, you can substitute out the other. You can. I don't. I don't believe so. You can. Um, if it, some people bowl more than they skate. I don't believe See, so. I know somebody who bowls, but they can skate, but they bowl more than they can skate. Nah. I, I just feel bowling is just like, you so single. I gotta like sit here and watch you pretend to talk to you. What if I don't feel like talking today? I don't want to talk to you right now. Now, that's a very good uh, comment, Mr. Carl. And, 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 let me give one of my uh, 
I wish I could just have everything right on demand for y'all, but let me just try this. I'm gonna say this. I'll go right on that note. So, just I guess me or just anybody just coming to the skate ring. One thing, just as a gentleman, you come into the skate ring, you can, you can come to the skate ring, meet a woman, put your hands all around her waist, touch her hand, all in her personal space, and you not even really know her name. Yes. And know nothing about her. True. But you'll be all on her, all in her space because you're skating that platform alone at a club. You get that close and start touching somebody. Somebody gonna be looking around and slap you in your face. True. But at the skate rink, it's free game. Skate rink at Skate King is almost like high school. Mm. You don't have to graduate. I gave you an example, clear example how I feel, just how I feel right now. Not okay. what it is, just how I feel. After 29 years, I don't deserve any more respect than the person that just came in today. I don't feel nothing like that about that or nothing. I don't feel no more important or the light should be on me or I right. should be allowed to be doing something more than the other person. Get this special everything wall. should everything should be even at the skate ring. So my next thing is I feel like the varsity quarterback. I've been there 29 years. I know all the plays. I about know what they're gonna play on the music box. I like what they play and I know how to do everything. That makes me a varsity quarterback in this high school. I just like how you put that. For real. I you like just you it, like and just like you say, Caldwell has asked me, well, how is skate life and then how is it in skate? And it's just like life out on the street. You get your own little lane inside that ring and then you start working hard so you not be scurrying to do whatever the wheels ask you to do, you'll be able to handle it. That's the biggest thing to do. The rest of it about how cute you are and all of that, all of that will come. You're gonna look better five years from now than you look now. And you're gonna look way better if you keep skating hard and doing exercise and drinking water. That's two. real skate life. Rule number two, play the long game, win the war, not the battle. Yes, all the time. That's like, you gotta play it like that. Skating is so much fun and it takes so much time oh to goodness. get good. It's, it's, just, it's just not a rush. The excitement comes on you each time you come, when you learn something, you get a little better. And then you, then you realize, and when you get home, you be like, oh, I, can't I still wait. got it. Yeah. I'll be saying to myself, like, I can't wait to. If I get a Friday night off, oh, man, my first thing, my first thought is I'm going skating tonight. That is my club. So that's why I was just more so uh, for how is the, um, skate culture just is it a universal thing is it just a generational thing like coming under you in st louis in st louis it's, it's, it's almost a rite of passage mm. even if you don't end up staying a skater you you going you going to a birthday party there and yeah, you yeah. know somebody or you know the person that skate around the neighborhood and you know that person that always on stage like i say when i'm at home all the babies in the neighborhood know me they it's, a, it's just all. It's just funny. And see, in particular, Skate King, they have already. When I say they, just uh, the city has already shut down, or we don't have any places of like safe havens. Like the palace gone, um, Saints. That's kind of that's coming and going. We still too much to go to the mall. Still too much to go to the <laughs> we mall. We do. As the people we eat about, everybody else still, but we get down. Oh, we get down. Yeah, you ain't we get, we, like we, get all, we we go over the top. Of oh that. man, I'ma steal the weed from your head. Yeah, so skate king. I mean, it's a safe house all day long. Yeah, but why? Why in particular? Why is skate king a historic place? Well, what, what, what do you think? Like, why is it just because? Like, man, skate king been around since what the '70s since. Man, Skate King been around. I, I hate to make it so plain and cut it dry, but I am cut it dry. So, yeah. first, it's just a uh, black man that owns it. Merely. And I, and I thank Mr. Foggy every time I see him. He's yeah. like, he, he's partly my dad, because he is partly my dad in spirit, because he owns a place and keeps a place open and opens it on Christmas and the holidays when there's nothing to do and when I don't have any, anything to do and I don't have any children. I have somewhere to go. Right. So, 
Somebody could say something about Mr. Foggy, and you probably going to be in trouble around me because I'm going to have to defend him. He's, he, whatever shortcomings he has, he's been a magnificent philanthropist for keeping the building open. Really? Um, there's great networking in the skating rink. If you can put your attitude to the side, there's yeah. nothing you cannot find in the skating rink. You don't have to go on Angie's list. There's somebody at the skating rink can give you a tattoo, do something to your house, give you that quick fix on your dryer, know you where to get a car, a home. Just, there's great networking. Do not let these old people get away from you. Learn something from them. Don't say, well, they just as old as my mom and daddy, or they look like old and my mom and my daddy. And I, that has nothing to do with it. There's great magnificence in this and gray hair and people who've been skating a long time, especially when you're trying to do something. That's the, one of the best ways to get your own spirit together is yeah. to learn those those small, intricate things and those small delicacies. Them the things that are going to separate you from the other people. Yeah. That same competition that's in, that's in all of us. The reason why when I, when I come in that skate rink and I try to have the, the best, cheapest outfit I can have and need, just neat as I can be so it can make my skating better. Not so the girls can say, woo, or this other girl, just for me, so I can have that confidence to say, mmm. But when you got that confidence, though, that you can smell it. Mmm. <laughs> then if I have that, then that means somebody who's watching, now they feeling it. Now they can, my spirit going over to them. And then, bam, now they gonna have that, they gonna get that bug in them, that seed gonna get planted. And that's why Next saying, thing you know, spiritual connection bam. Yeah. Now some people gonna try to teach you how to skate, mm -hmm. and but me, myself, if you admit it or not, sooner or later, I'm going to come in your skin if you come to Skate King. Sooner or later, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I don't come in. I'll let the moment I let the moment sneak up on both of us. But sooner or later, we'll be meeting eye to hide the skating rink. You ain't going to have no idea what I'm going to be doing, but you're going to have to make a decision. That's one of my best ways of teaching people how to skate at the rink. I think that's one of my three ways. I, I step. This is why I step with everybody simply, the simple steps. I think if you want to learn anything really important and stuff, this is why I send people to Chris, I send people to Brandon, and I send people to Al. You want to start learning routines and Arthur and Leo. You want to start learning root, intricate routines, I think you should go to them. I'm not the person for that. I'm really simple. But simple step and left, right, up, and down, and whatever you think you need to do, I'm your guy. And then after that, you'll be... You'll be whatever, whoever you're gonna be after that. Whoever you want to be. Yeah, but I'll give you. I'm gonna give you your base. I'm gonna teach you how to spin and just all that kind of. It's all kind of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, okay. Skate culture. That's life. The passing of the spirit in the ring. That's what it is. That's what it really is. There's a lady named Tiki that comes to the skate rink and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out Tiki. She is. Uh, and her son Cam. She is the niece of uh, Swanee. And Swanee is a gentleman that used to come to the skate rink. He had snake skin boots and knobs on skates. And okay. before I even thought about putting some tennis shoes on some skates, oh, man, was he the was the guy, him and his buddy thing. Kenny. And um, right now, uh, Tiki is coming to the skate rink and has brought unity to the rink just by taking pictures. And I have watched people who won't even speak to each other for years be in the same picture. Yeah, so, yeah. Skate King is changing. Because yeah. Caldwell asked me, I guess about 15 minutes ago, how is it? It's wonderful. Y'all are involved in something awful special. I want to say Ump loves you all, young people. Yeah. And you all are doing a great job dealing with the dying and the, the, your friends and you. And y'all still got to go to work and get your money together. Don't worry about it. Just take it one day at a time. I love July. And walk in the door and just and leave it on the floor, baby. And then pick it back up when you go. You're doing a great job. Don't let nobody tell you. This shit is hard out here. But you keep coming to the skate rink. That'll keep you keep everything working and keep you healthy. You stop skating, you're going to get fat and all that old other stuff. Hey. Oh, you don't, you don't hey. want that. You want something... The real one real reason why skating so important to me is because it's something yeah. they can't take from me. See, I don't have to be nowhere to be skating. I don't have to pay no money to skate. I don't have to. Uh, I can go outside. I can be in the in my basement. Yeah. Once I put them on, it's up to me with the music and what I'm gonna do. See, they can't take that away. 
I don't have to skate for a month. I might get locked up. Whatever happens, maybe I hurt my leg. I've, I've hurt my elbow and I couldn't skate for four months. Missed it like crazy. And I said, when I get my elbow back, I'm going to be on fire. And ladies and gentlemen, this was what fire looks like. Now, I'll tell y'all and be honest with you today. Heel work is difficult. And if you're not careful, it will cramp your legs up. You have to rub your feet. There's lots of things you have to do. You have to take care of your feet. But I am fire. I am skating. Keep trying. Keep stretching. Keep drinking water. And you're going to be cold. I'd like to give women one more shout out to Melly Mel. Melly Mel. My number one student, Big Red. Uh, she going to be cold, y'all. At the end of the day, she's still a little intimidated, but I'm gonna get the rest of that out of her and she's gonna give it to y'all. Because I'm not gonna be here forever. Some by Lord, something might happen to me, but I think I've left just enough already for y'all to be rolling for the rest of y'all life. Y'all go. Y'all go. I mean that. Y'all go. Y'all on y'all way. What's one word to describe your life all the way up until now? Rolling. I do everything like I'm skating. I go to work like I'm skating. I use the bathroom like I'm skating. I wash clothes like I'm skating. Huh. Okay. Very neat. I'm a very neat person. Not stupid, clean, not da -da -da -da, just neat. I just need to know where stuff at. Hmm. Some people don't care. They can go with the moment and fling with it. Some people come in skating and they, it ain't much you gotta tell them. But they still need to know those small things that, in the breathing and the do, 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 do. I seen a guy last night, got a little small braided dude, he about 6'2", ice cold. But I went and just talked to him into a conversation and like I said, I don't go to nobody, I'm gonna make him feel bad or talking down to him. I just asked a couple questions, he tried and he was like, but the next time I see him, he gonna be tough as nails for him. Just small things, just, just keep working on the small stuff just for you. Don't worry about what somebody else doing out there. You just stay on rhythm and beat with it and just do what you can do. And then suddenly, one day, magically, it happens. You get you, oh my God. You, get you, them. Oh, you start <laughs> smiling. You be like, oh, <laughs> baby, I look good. I'm flying. I'm yeah. somebody. Yeah. It come on you just like that. Just, oh, I swear. It do. And then with the confidence. Yeah. Song, and you so start dressing. smiling. Oh, You're not so bitter. Man. The cute guys like you. The ladies man. screaming your name. Man. Ooh. Man, you do oh. a thing around the rail. You yeah. like, um, And you start dressing. Yes, things everybody, change. Everybody I've taught or like show like moves and like the next time I seen them, they like now like they're more in their street work. You like, hold on. Other day, but like on some sessions I catch you in like sweatpants, like when you trying to get it. Shout out my man Stacks. He really he really he really did he did did his thing, put in the work and like did it. Like, but like when he was coming up, he was wearing sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? Now my dude is like comfortable clothes and I'm like hey I see you I see you but yo but it's because you put in the, the work and I think what you're talking about is a uh, skill versus talent you become a great skater just like you see someone in the uh, you see the ice skaters with the Olympics yeah you gotta have a routine short and long you gotta have the perfect outfit. You see him. I mean, glittered up, whatever. Even a gentleman. Shh. Hard work has to meet creativity with absolute consistent persistency. If that makes any sense. You gotta be driving hard. Say that again. Be work. Hard work. And creativity has to meet up with great, consistent persist persistency. Because that means you've been working on all the small things. You've been halfway eating right. You got the right amount of water when you come in. You got the right attitude. You're vulnerable enough to learn 
multiple things at one time. You're willing to learn things to both sides and not limit yourself. You're willing to learn how to breathe. You look, I'm gonna just tell everybody now, look at the tip of your nose. Do you know, do your hands like this. Go to your, your station two. This is where your level is in your ear. Finish your station two, go to your open or your hole in your throat and take a deep breath. You come back up to your top or to your third eye and you just take a, you can see all the way across 270, you can see out the corners and just take your time. When you get through spinning or whatever you're doing, just open your eyes and then you start over again by looking at your nose. Relax, breathe and you'll be skating, you'll be gliding, you'll be rolling. When you stop hearing your skates, you know you'll be getting better. It's just like playing uh, playing the game, playing uh, Xbox or PlayStation. When you first start playing the game and somebody beating your butt, everybody in the house can hear you pressing the buttons. But when you get good, oh, you start hitting that L1 and, and bam, bam, you come back with the joy and then you and hit the, see, can't nobody hear you playing the game. Now, now you're cold. Cold, cold now. That's the yeah. difference. So if you can yeah. hear yourself skating, that means you need to pull back some, relax. One of the biggest pieces of advice I'm finna give anybody, especially new skaters, they come in there looking like chickens or little baby chickens. You wanna know what a baby chicken look like? Had them little skinny legs and they be standing straight up and down. One of the biggest advices thing I give to anybody, if you go on skating and have some rhythm in skating, you have to do this here every time. Boom, boom, you gotta have that bounce. You gotta let that booty come down, you gotta let that knee come down, you gotta let that weight come down, whatever how you wanna call it. Yeah. That whole world you got out there, ladies, all that, just let that thing drop and bounce it back up. Once you get that bounce, it's all over it out there. That make it come. Okay. Because I've been told skating will give you rhythm. Man, skating will make you a dancer. Yeah, yeah. It'll Man. give you confidence. Yeah. That you never, you can't get that from nowhere. Man. Some people can dance from the time they come out the out the womb and they've been dancing all their life for their family. Uh 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 Lamar. Lamar Cole gone back to Indiana again. Man, I miss him. And uh ice cold from the get-go. Ice cold. Man, you have to keep working at your craft. I heard Brandon Slick Casey one time, he was sliding in the middle of it was a couple, it was a few weeks ago. He said, uh, shit. I gotta start working back on my I say, cause you will lose your skating. Don't yeah. be cocky. Yeah. If you don't work at your crab, you will lose it. You'll come back and you'll break something. Mm -hmm. Or you'll be like, I can't do it. You start talking about you can't do it, you will never try it again and you'll be stuck in that zone. You don't wanna be in that zone. You wanna be in the zone where you're always growing at the skate rink. Always. Mm -hmm. Good Lord, I just seen a whole planet walk by me. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, a whole, <laughs> a, a whole Jupiter just uh, walked by. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that skate life, it's like that. Because there's going to be somebody in there, boy, going to make you change all your clothes. Man. All your hair. All your money habit. <laughs> Every man. You better be ready for that. But that being said, let me ask you this. Final question. Mm -hmm. Before we get out of here, what's five things you stand for? Uh, right now, me being 49 years old. And life uh, in general. Yep. Everything. Absolute reverence when you get up for the reasons why you got up and learning how not to fuss about the challenges and the barriers of the day and learning how to deal with it. You have to, first and foremost. Two, um, willing to uh, learn how to be a better person today. So you just get along in the day for, if it's just for that selfish reason that I stand for. You have to. Three, somewhere you have to find out and be working on your purpose so you don't be wasting all your time and everybody else's time with the same stuff all the time. When people see you coming and they have to keep lying and faking with you in your face because you can't be honest with yourself. Which is number four and three is the same. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Stop. 
MJG 8 Ball told me long time ago on the first album, coming out hard. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> okay. You, who are you going to be? Lady named Peaches told me she say, you ain't nobody to lie to. I didn't really question her no other time after that. She was a lady. That's how you know when you got a lady or when you're dealing with somebody and vice versa and a gentleman by how they answer the question. Mm. So stop lying to yourself, then you'll know when somebody lying to you. If you continue lying to yourself, then this is what you'll be living. Lie to lie. There is no life in between. There's only life after the truth. The truth sets you free at all times. You say I'm going to hurt that person's feelings. If that person ain't ready to have their feelings hurt, then they ain't ready to enjoy I ready to have any joy. Joy goes with pain. Stop trying to separate it. Church and state is not separated. It's the same thing. Stop trying to separate your Ooh. life and the people you finna go in. You are the same. You're Church just not having to be in the same, the same atmosphere. Thing. Does not make you better. It just makes you more knowledgeable, knowing where to be in your lane. I from University City 6572 Julian. I do not need to be on peck and casuit after dark for no apparent reason. That would be the wrong lane. I've gave out six analogies about stop lying to yourself. The most important thing to do in your life. Because if you lie to yourself, you lie to the Creator, and please stop going to church lying to everybody else there too. That's a safe place to go when you're in trouble. Not to be used as a hideaway for you to keep come back out stupid again. Lastly, or the juke joint. The skating rink is my life. It is my it is my it, it's my other temple outside my temple. It's my it's my refuge. It's my it's my it's my club. It's my uh, my meditative place. It's the place where I do my yoga. It's the place where I step. It's the place where I dance. It's the place where I conjugate with ladies. It's the place where I practice on unity. It's the place where I practice on uh, 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 on my economy as I, I network with everyone that's there. It's everything. There's nowhere else you're going to go that's going to be like the skating rink where you're, everyone black is comfortable. Don't, don't fool yourself. And I'm only giving that vision and in that lane today as, as, as being a skater and, and a roller. It's a whole life. Don't, don't fool yourself. Lots of things to do within the skate rink. Creativity must come out. More eating together. Play volleyball together. Go on day trips together and go skating. Go just do other things together. Go do on trips and learn stuff together and then go back skating and watch how your skating grows. Grows with every life experience. Have reverence for why you got up. Stop complaining. Figure out how to look at it different. Change your perspective before you get all grumpy and bitter for the day everybody having a bad day if you having a bad day think about it like that if you having a good day everybody not having a good day and you know who not having a good day you can look at them don't fool yourself fool yourself stop lying figure it out before you mess the moment up go in the moment like you know something live your life but you say meet the moment. Meet the moment. Do not, you don't go to work and not know what you're going to really have to do today and what, what time dumbass coming in and yeah, what supervisor. Yeah. You don't do that. So don't go in the skate rink not knowing how much. You know it's not going to work. Don't yeah. go yeah. over to uh, John's house with the same outfit and he didn't do anything different last time. You, that means you have to do something different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> change your perspective and your life will change today
You don't have to wait years. You don't have to be 39. You don't have to be, you just have to accept responsibility for your choices today. You can only live one day at a time. You, it's not that you wait all your life and you work all your life to be a millionaire. You have to start making millionaire and big boss decisions today to be able to accept the responsibility of being a millionaire. There's plenty of millionaires and, and great this and great that. But they have nothing because they're not standing on nothing. They're not ten toes down. They're not true. They're just there for the money. Or they're there for the fame. Or they're there because somebody else do it. You know the difference. There's only a very few special people on the earth. Today is not cocky is what I'm going to say. I'm one of the very few special people left on her. I'm a true boy scout. I'll stick up for any woman, not my woman. I'm not going to look at your wife. I'm not going to look at your, your your daughter. I'm not going to take no money from you. You can trust me with your family. Uh, I'm a true boy scout. This is why I am the way I am in the ring. When, when all the people sitting around and, and they, they say, well, Chuck crazy and they you this and this, I say, I am. I'm all of what they say in the stuff that they don't know, but that they do know because if they stop lying to themselves, they would have to admit how magnificent a person I am. I am only a representation of my creator. I am not nothing else but skating and rolling every moment of the day. Mm. There's no way I can roll on my heels the way I do and spin on them without it being a gift. You don't get that for free. You don't get that because you worked hard. You get that. <laughs> I can skate on my heels for an hour, hour and a half, and not come down. All of y'all can get on your heels for three minutes, and all y'all gonna be rubbing y'all shins for five minutes. This is how much dedication I have just in the, to the craft of being on a heel. There are great endeavors and great energy to give into everything. You have a complete circle to work with and a whole day to do it in. Do not and stop wasting your time. You have lots to do. You're not bored. Get off of Facebook saying that. Get off. Go find, get into life. Something to do. Go put your skates on. Go sit at them. Go. Hey, uh, uh, on a wrapping note, it's been a pleasure having you, a pleasure talking to you. Big time ups. <laughs> Big time ups to the call, Will. <laughs> I don't know where I nailed it. <laughs> hey, Pop, I he heard missed it. tripping. <laughs> he missed it. He gonna be mad. He missed it. <laughs> Man, he hey, gonna look, be mad. It's all love. Hey, y'all, coming from the Who Is family. I am Artemis Caldwell, founder and CEO of Who Is Incorporated, the best and most. Hey, if you don't know about it now, you better get get with it. Nonprofit out there ever. And hey, up. Uh, hey, big blessing. Look, start off as my big brother, but I find that this my uncle, y'all. Look. <laughs> Number fam in her. Oh yeah. Charles Palmer, everybody. Look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See y'all on the next side. Oh yeah, most definitely. Got plenty to say. Got plenty oh, to yeah. say. Got advice on everything. Alright. Out.